That's it. That's all right. No that more was, oxygen. That was, that was that was wonderful. Uh, Where did you learn? I to miss play? playing. When my wife's last surgeon said she can do no more for her, my question was, well, what does that mean? And she said, she's at the end of her life stage. We can do no more for her. We will do no more surgery. There's nothing can be done to prolong her life. And I asked, well, what do I do then? And they recommended hospice. I would then put in contact with one of the hospice representatives and they explained the whole hospice program to me. I told them about my medical background. I asked them what I was able to do. They explained everything in such detail. We just kind of looked at each other, my wife and I, and said, this option of being able to die at home uh, is wonderful. We just followed the orders that hospice gave us. We laughed with her when she could laugh. We cried with her when she no longer were feeling those things. I was holding her hand the day she died. Uh, she, and I knew she was taking her last breaths. And if a husband has to lose a wife that he loves dearly, there was no better way than for me to lose her that way. Yes, I have bone cancer. I have lung cancer. But at the moment I'm speaking with you, I'm pain free. I experienced a lot of negativisms from the chemicals. Obviously, I lost my hair, lost my appetite, lost my energy, lost my will to live. I lost it all. And actually, I prayed that God would take me because I had nothing left. I was a very, very sick man. And that's when I said, I need hospice. I knew exactly what was going to happen because I went through it with my wife. Um, I know exactly what's going to happen today. Now, some people will accept that and say, how do you feel about that, Robert? You, you, you know what's going to happen. Yes, I know. And I know when it's going to happen, and I know how it's going to start, and uh, I accept that totally. Knowing that I've got the help I do from hospice, and they're, they're going to keep me pain-free, they're going to be here when I need them. More nurses will come. More aides will come. They'll be the nurses that you would get in any hospital, but it's not a hospital. A hospital is a hospital, it's not a hotel. My house, my home is my hotel, and they'll make me as comfortable as I can possibly be for as long as I'm breathing. I have a social worker that works with me with regard to any social problems I have. I have a chaplain that works with me, comes to see me frequently with any issues I have. I pick up the phone anytime I want, and I've got someone from hospice here helping me. And I thank hospice for that. Try to share with people what I feel in my heart about the services I'm getting so that I might possibly be able to help them to make a better decision when they and their family have to make the decision as to what they want to do. It's a difficult decision, very difficult decision. Having been in medicine as long as I was myself, then having to make that decision with my wife, not sure of what I was going to get. But once I got it, I knew this is what I wanted for myself. It's the friendliness, the compassion, first name basis, the honesty. I'm speaking from my own heart. I'm speaking the truth. So hospice not only offers superb medical, they offer, I think, in my own heart, um, that compassion that I wouldn't get, wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. I'm hoping that by seeing what I'm going through and how I'm going through it, they see what faith can do, they see what hospice can do, they see what family love can do.